Hey guys, today we'll be learning about subtraction. If you know counting, then subtraction will be almost like it. But instead of going forward, we're actually going to count backwards. Let me show you. 7 minus 3. So what it's asking for us to do, we're going to, so we're going to start from 7. Then we're going to go backwards three times. So let's try counting. 7, and then 6, 5, and then 4. So we went back three times. And 9 minus 1. So we're going to go backwards by 1, starting from 9. So what comes before 9? 8. And then 3 minus 0. So since we're subtracting 0 from this number, I mean like going backwards by 0, so we're not exactly going but going to go backwards it's going to be the same number here it's three the top number and then one minus one and that's going to be z that's going let's try counting backwards zero so a rule for this is when we're subtracting one number from the same num the same number it's always going to be zero so See this example, 3 minus 3. Let's try counting backwards. 2, 1, and 0. See? 1, 2, 3. So if you'd like to, so what I want you to do right now is to work on these, just these bottom, bottom problems right here. Not the ones that I showed you, but just these, pro these problems over here, the ones I'm pointing at. I want you to work on them and pause until you're done so i and, I, and then i'll review the answers with you then okay let's go over three four seven four one two four two five five two three one z sorry one six three eight one six and two so check your answers if you got it all right that's perfect if not it's okay i'll still go over it with you and you can just see that from the beginning of this video Okay, so let's try subtracting from two digit numbers, like very long numbers here. So the first step, the first step for overcoming this is we're gonna separate, I mean, we're just gonna like break the numbers apart, just like this. Not, not this, this. So six minus three, so we're just gonna now we're now we're just gonna focus the, on the numbers on the right. So six minus three, that's gonna be uh, that, that's gonna be three. So let's count backwards: five, four, and three. Okay, and now let's gonna let's move on to the left side. So one minus nothing right here. So what, when I mean like nothing right here, I mean it's it's going to be substituted as a zero. Like it's going to be zero. I'm just going to draw that here. One minus zero, that's one. So the answer is 13. Okay, so now let's work on this problem right here. So first step, break the numbers apart. And second step, focus on the right. On the numbers on the right so we can't really subtract 8 from 0 because it's totally impossible so what we got to do is it's gonna we're gonna move on to the right and we're gonna subtract 1 from the top left right top left number here so that's gonna be 1 because 2 minus 1 it's 1 and then we're gonna add 1 to the 0 here so by add one, I mean literally draw one next to the zero to make it 10. So 10 minus eight, I think you all, we all know what that is. So let's, gonna, let's count backwards. 
eight times from 10. So that's uh, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. So 10 minus eight is two, and then one minus one, that's zero. And that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching this video.